Hi guys, today I want to talk about how to survive wearing all white. A lot of times when you're wearing all white, it can be a little bit like nerve wracking, like I really hope I don't get anything on this. And so I want to talk today about routine, things that you can do on a daily basis to kind of prevent you from getting stains on your outfits. Right out of the gate, I know that a lot of you guys are going to write me and say, Bethany, this is great and all, but I absolutely have no chance of wearing white. I have kids, I have dogs, I personally love to roll around in the mud outside and I just can't wear white. <laughs> so we all have lifestyle challenges to get around. So what I want to say for the very first thing is to pre-treat your clothes. I do this by using Scotch Guard. So I do this especially for anything that's more on the pricey end. Honestly, I don't really bother if it's something that I could easily replace or not feel that bad about if it got a little bit dingy. But if it is something that I've invested in, then I definitely want to treat it as soon as I know that I'm gonna keep it, I'm not gonna return it. So how I do that is through Scotch Guard. It's just a spray bottle and you spray it on your clothes, then you just let it sit overnight and then it should be good to go for quite a while. You might wanna think about reapplying it if you're going to be washing it a lot, but you don't necessarily have to wash your clothes as much as you probably think you do. Especially if you're wearing anything underneath it, that could really keep it really clean. Next, if you are cooking or cleaning and you're about to go out the door, you don't have a lot of time to change clothes first, it is important to really protect your clothes that you're wearing. So the ways that I do this is usually I have just an apron on that I put on in the kitchen and it covers me at least down almost to my knees, and that allows me to not sweat it so much if I just need to quickly prep something. But if I am eating spaghetti, I really want to be careful, and so what I try to do is wear something oversized, like maybe a button-down shirt, maybe something that isn't super important anymore, maybe something kind of older, secondhand, anything like that, that I can put on over what I'm wearing and just button it where I need to. And the great thing about button-down is that it's going to lift off without messing up your hair if you are gonna have to get out the door quickly. And this is an absolutely wonderful tip, not only when you're prepping food, but also when you're eating. I know some people that actually put on a scarf, and this is great for like colder months. When you are maybe at your desk, you can keep a scarf with you in your desk and just put that on if you're eating your lunch at your desk or anything like that. And of course you can do this if you're going out to eat, like you can just have a scarf on. That will prevent a lot of those splashes if you're eating soup, for instance, or any little tiny things that you're not paying attention to when you're there maybe with other people not paying attention to your clothes. Next has to do with coffee. A lot of times I use coffee as an example because I used to be a barista and we had to wear white, so the not spilling coffee while wearing white was a thing I had to do for a living. <laughs> and so that's why I wanna discuss this now. It could be soup, it could be tea, it could be anything that is kind of filled to the brim that's liquid. What you wanna do when you're carrying a liquid that could spill on your clothes to not think about not spilling it and watching it and just making sure that it's not gonna spill because then it will spill. What you want to do is then focus on where you're carrying your coffee to. The example that I'm gonna use with this also is the example of just sports. A lot of times in sports people focus on the net. If they're going to put a ball through the net they're not thinking about the ball and what to do with it necessarily. They're thinking about aiming and going for the goal. Net. Whatever type of sport. <laughs> The goal is that you want to think about where you're aiming, where you're going to. So if you're carrying a hot liquid, carry it over to the table. Don't think about gently carrying your overflowing cup of coffee. You actually wanna think about where you're going. And that's just kind of a technique that I built over time. It didn't happen overnight. I spilled a lot of coffee on me before I got good enough to carry things like this. But this definitely could work for, you know, if you have any sort of like food job, like waitressing or anything like this. This could be really important. Even interns, you know, or just making your way on your daily commute when you're carrying your coffee. A lot of these things happen and it's good to get used to them. Practice. Maybe practice without your beautiful white pieces on and just carry your hot liquid around with you. Uh, maybe not even hot, maybe just cold so that you don't burn yourself right away. But the goal there is just to focus on where you're bringing your hot coffee to, not on the hot coffee itself. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's the funniest thing to talk about. 
<laughs> okay, next, when you're wearing an all white outfit, I wanna talk about how you're going to accessorize with your footwear and your outerwear and anything that's going to rub and potentially ruin your clothes. So one example, denim. If you have new denim, that dye is so fresh and it really hasn't been washed out enough most likely to actually be put onto white or bright fabrics. I would wear denim, new denim with darker clothes until it's had a few washes and wears because that has transferred on my beautiful new canvas bag that I had when I went to college. That dye is going to absorb into whatever it can and you need to think about that if you're wearing something that you really care about that's white. For shoes, you want to be thinking about if you're going to be having boots or anything rubbed on some white jeans or white pants. A lot of times this happens with extra wear. I've worn boots that have maybe just a little bit of dirt on them or a little bit of dye on them and they rub against the hem of my pants and then before I know it, I've got that color on my pants. And so think about that as well. Maybe boots need to not be worn with bright white things if that's going to happen to you. Otherwise, you could probably roll up your pants a little bit so that they're not touching. There's different ways that you could get around this, but just be aware that that could happen. The worst thing I've seen with wearing white pants is when people wear flip-flops with them and they step in some sort of puddle or there's something dirty on the ground, and then that flip-flop actually comes up, snaps on your foot, and it flings whatever was on the ground onto the back of your calves. And I've seen people ruin their clothes with this. And so I would definitely be prepared for that. If you're gonna wear flip-flops, be mindful of what kind of pants you're gonna wear with those. And finally, don't try to be too careful and specific with maintaining your white clothes. Instead, learn some techniques on how to clean your white clothes. I did a video that's kind of older that I did last year that really touches on how to maintain and keep your whites white. And I also had a lot of influence too from what you guys told me on Instagram. So I did kind of a Q&A. I added a lot more information just from the audience to really think about how to keep your white white. So if you know how to take care of your garments, you don't have to be as particular and as like nervous about trying to keep them white because you already know how to solve it. I would definitely do your research on that and from there just know that white is very relative. There's little marks even on the shirt that I'm wearing today that you really can't see. I know that they're there but nobody's coming over and inspecting with a magnifying glass on how white my clothes are and if anybody's doing this in your life, that's just kind of rude. <laughs> so maybe find a new group of friends that aren't going to inspect you so carefully and just know that white is relative and it's going to get dingy with time and just kind of embrace that about it and know that it's not going to look to other people as dingy as you might think it is to yourself. At the end of the day, I think it's all about just not caring so much about it, just knowing how to kind of maintain and be mindful, pre-treat, and I hope that these tips are helpful. If it is, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Crazy, but it makes sense.